friends. Um, today we are going to be doing our first art project. I'm very excited and I hope you're excited to make some art. Um, we're just going to dive right in. So our first artist that we're going to be mimicking his work, his name is Paul Clay. And now Paul Clay was a German Swiss artist and he focused in painting abstract and really a uh, modern kind of art style. Um, he dipped into stippling and other things kind of like that. But he's very focused for using line and repetition in his artwork. So the really cool thing about Paul Clay is that he actually all the way until the age 11 um, played the violin and was a really great musician, like so much so that um, operas and um, live orchestras were asking him at age 11 to play in, um, in these orchestras. And he, he said, no, I'm gonna rebel, I'm gonna be my teenage self. And then he went to art and then started painting. And then he tra traveled the world. He went um, everywhere and was just really obsessed with um, color and brightness and like how um, color plays with your emotions and kind of things like that. Um, so you can really see that in a lot of his artwork if you look him up. Um, he always uses color. They're kind of like a dull color, um, cause, but they're always like mixed. So he's always mixing colors and they're really, it's really, really um, awesome kind of artwork. And so um, another thing that Paul um, Clay does is that he focuses on um, dreams that he has. So um, although his artwork is very balanced and using all the elements of art, um, he's inspired by um, what happens when he's dreaming. And so that is another reason why he does a lot of repetition. So the artwork that we're going to mimic is you're going to use your name. So this is my copy of his artwork. Okay, so I put Mrs. Schultz and um, I just keep repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, and then you're gonna use a lot of colors and make them really bright and really stand out. All right, here is the demo that you're gonna watch me make with you. I use the name Sarah and I will go into detail on exactly how you're gonna use that and do that. This is going to be turned in on Friday at the end of the day. Um, remember, we are going to have a Google Meet on Friday, so um, don't save it until just Friday. Um, really, um, really start working on it because I don't know how long we will be on Google Meet and I don't want to use up all your class time. Um, but you are having two days to do it and I did it pretty quick, but um, it's not as neat as I'd like it to be. Uh, so make, take your time, make yours look really good materials that you need for this assignment. You need a half a sheet of paper. So take a blank piece of paper, cut it in half. Uh, see, look, see how ugly that is. Please make sure your paper is really nice, really sharp lines. Um, make it look really nice. A straight edge to make your lines. I'm gonna go over exactly how to use a ruler because you'd be surprised a lot of people don't know how to use a ruler. So I'm gonna show you how to use a ruler. And then um, you need color pencils any kind of color pencils or any kind of colors that you have. So it could be crayons, markers, things like that. Um, I used a drawing pencil, or sorry, drawing pen um, to do my outlines. You want something thick, so a, um, a thicker marker, Crayola marker would work. Um, something to sharpen your pencils with. And um, you also need a pencil. So I have my pencil over here. Um, you're gonna draw really lightly. I think I drew a little bit darker than you should draw because we are gonna write over all of those letters and lines and color them and you don't wanna make it really, really dark and be really hard to um, go over. So really lightly use a pencil. Okay, let's dive into the demo so you can start working. All right, so what we're going to be doing first is um, you need to get your supplies out. Remember, half sheet of paper, clean edges, not like it's ripped like mine. You need some kind of straight edge, a pencil, and you are gonna need color pencils. Um, I also used a marker to outline my letters, but you do not have to. You can just make your um, letters thicker using the pencil. So this is the trick on how to use a ruler. I measure three fingers with, I put a little tick mark on one side of the paper, then I put a tick mark on the other side of the paper, and I use both those tick marks to line my ruler on and draw my line straight across. Remember, you want this line to be really light. 
and then I do it again. You do not have to use three fingers. Um, you can use something else um, to measure those sides, however thick you want your lines. Um, you can also use the side of the ruler, um, measure how far down you want on one side, the same um, way down on the other side, and then connect your lines. Uh, I know a lot of people have trouble, they say, I use a ruler and I still have crooked lines. Um, but it's because like your line is straight, but you're not l leveling the ruler. Um, so this allows you to make it level um, and come out really nice and neat. So what we're going to be doing now is I'm taking my Sharpie. You are going to be using your pencil. Use, do everything in pencil first and then outline it. Um, so you know that you're going to be doing it right. I'm using a Sharpie and skipping this step because I've done it lots of times before and uh, it's just it's just easier for me to go quicker um, by just outlining. So the main thing you're going to do is you're going to write your name, your first name. Okay. After you write it, you want to make sure it's big. It's taking up that whole section that you just made. It's touching the bottom line and it's touching the very top line. You also want to make sure that your letters are also touching, making like sure there's like no gaps, making little tiny sections in each area. After you write your name once, you are going to repeat your name. If your name does not fit on the repeating it on the first line or just doesn't fit going once, just stop after you get to that letter that it won't refit anymore and then go to the next line. I'll show you it in the next line I think I run out of room. So wait, look to see what I'm doing and then I see how I restart. I write S, I start the A and then now I'm gonna go back to the next line and finish it R-A-H. So you want to go off the page. It's okay if it doesn't fit. Try to squeeze them together because remember, you want them to touch. You want those letters to touch. All right, so you wrote your name multiple times everywhere. Um, you're gonna go back through and then you're going to bold your lines Remember, either with a Sharpie, with a marker, or with your pencil, really bold those lines. And you are also going to go back and make sure your letters are somewhat connected. Remember, you want to create those spaces that and really blocky kind of look to those. So I'm going over, I'm making sure my S's connect to those A's. Um, I'm making sure the A's connect to the H. Um, those R's are connecting to the A's, and so on. Now the coloring. So you are gonna pick two colors. I picked blue and I picked green. So with those two colors, you need four colors total. So you're gonna do a light version of that color and a dark version of that color. So I did light blue, dark blue, light green, dark green. And if you do not have like a light blue, you just, when you're coloring, really press down on the blue and then on your light blue section, you're just gonna add just really light pressure to make it look like a lighter color, all right? Then you are gonna rotate between those four colors. So keep them in order and then start working light blue, dark blue, light green, dark green, or whatever order you wanna do them in, and then repeat. You don't want the colors next to each, the same color next to each other. So you don't want light green connected with light green. You want to try to break them up. And it's going to get a little bit of complicated as you're going along, but that's okay. And so the spots that don't touch, see how these A's don't touch? Um, that A doesn't touch with the R and then it's in the spot underneath the A. You're going to use your color, whatever color you picked, and it's going to fill that whole section. and you are going to keep repeating. I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit more so then it doesn't take forever.
and this is our finishing product. Um, remember, this is due Friday, so you have two days to do it. Um, make sure your lines and coloring looks really nice and sharp. Really good. Right, looking forward to seeing them.